Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Hey, Aaron here. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, evening, whenever you are viewing this video. We have an informative one for you guys here today. But before we get into that, I briefly wanted to mention the topic of the show. It seems to be a hot debate right now going on in the community. And I'm not going to be adding to more of the rage bait that I have seen kind of floating around the community, and notably so. It was a very expensive ship, but I don't even like using the term expensive. And I want to explain a few things, get a few things off my chest. I will put a timestamp down for the informative part of this video because this is just going to be a little topic where I just want to, like I said, explain a few things, mention a few things, and get a few things off of my chest about the shill. I woke up early Monday um, and I did the video on the shill. I looked at the crafting station. And I thought it was known already, you know, through different videos and such. I literally just made a video on Saturday, or released it on Saturday, about the this update being one of the most expensive in Legends history. And I talked about the shill potentially being a $600 ship. And for the record, it is actually a $625 or around the $650 mark to, you know, to get the ship outright through premium days. However, it was never designed to be bought through that method. If you are, I'm gonna say, I dare say dumb enough to do it that way, then yes, it is the most expensive ship in the game. The ship was intended for those, and I say veterans, and this was a great point brought up by a commenter, I say veteran players, and what Wargaming probably should have said is either whale players or players similar to myself who have put a little bit of money, but haven't necessarily maxed out the commanders and or the tech tree ship line. I do know a personal friend, and a, I want to preface this. Personal anecdotes do not drive facts, right? Your perception of an event drives your own reality. It does not drive the facts of the situation. Now, there is no, I guess, objective end to this discussion because it's more of an opinion-based argument, but I do know a good friend, a viewer of the channel, and a longtime veteran, Mr. Vockton, who was unable to get the shill because he's essentially maxed out everything along the way. He has spent a sizable amount of money, um, and I think Wargaming, and I actually put this in the Community Contributor Discord today after kind of going back and looking at it, I think they did a great job with the crafting station. I think they missed the mark, though, on what is the true measure of a veteran player. And I think a perfect way to, to mark or note a veteran player is your amount of elite XP. Now, elite XP can be obtained through playing, you know, similar ships. Now, again, I haven't grinded all the ships, so this number could be potentially a little bit lower. But I have 84 million elite XP. If you want to talk about wasted and used or, or useless resources, elite XP has got to be number one. Okay, so and I actually put this in the community contributor discord in the feedback section today. And there were some other excellent replies. Tommy had a fantastic one. And I'm sure he would give it to me in speech form, but I just, I can't release it right now because it's in the NDA section. But he basically said um, that playtime and, and elite XP are the true measures of veterans. And I agree with him. After kind of going back and looking at it, this crafting station is more towards the extreme whales. And like I said, players like myself who haven't used all of our resources, right? I have 360 million silver, but I also don't have a lot of the tier eights or max out ships. And I have also been giving given a select few commanders from Wargaming, so I have missed out on those, or uh, not had to utilize those promotion orders. So, for those that may have been offended, I guess, and again, it, this is a video game, I kind of look at my day today and I just laugh at people being offended over a video game, but for those that thought I was insulting or talking, you know, that you're not a true veteran, that's not necessarily what I meant. I just, I thought it was known that this was going to be a very wargaming type deal. I feel like we've already forgotten about the auction. I feel like we've already forgotten about the Missouri event. If you guys truly want to be angered at something, be angered at those two things, okay? The auction, if you guys remember, was the Elbing, and I know people spent like 30,000 doubloons on that, only for the Elbing to be released at a later date. The same thing that was with the Missouri. It was originally for 30,000 steel, and then all of a sudden they reduced the price and then dropped the Salem. I appreciate them you know, reducing the cost of ships for steel. They should have just made steel more easily attainable. But again, just another typical Wargaming out. Those two events are far worse than this event right here. 
But also, you guys need to understand Wargaming is a company that is trying to make money. Again, I, I don't think that you should have thought of this as a way to purchase it, but they are always trying to create that itch, right? You praise, you have a wonderful product, in my opinion. They're, the game could use a little tweaks, but you have a wonderful product and you place that itch. Ooh, a new shiny ship, right? Ooh, all of this. And I, I tried to make it, again, I tried to have some nuance in my video to where I said, this is a cool ship, it's tanky, it's not the best. If you can't get it, don't worry about it, right? I thought I, me and a lot of the other community contributors and actual community contributors, right now there's just a lot of drama-filled videos floating around the Legends sphere. And it's funny to me sometimes, and I've caught myself doing this, um, we tend to say that they're drama-filled videos, but we still click on them, right? Well, I'm trying to remove myself from that. I have not clicked on a lot of these rage bait, clickbait videos, and I'm not necessarily talking about fellow CCs, but other content creators, and there is a distinction there. But again, um, and I'm not, you know, I, I, <laughs> I am one to make flashy titles, but I feel like the flashy title draws the viewer in, and then I try to relay proper nuanced information. And when I make a mistake, I try to collect it myself. And of course, I'm no role model. I'm, I, you know, we, we have fun on stream, but alas, this video is gonna be long enough already. Um, I just, final points here. Today, um, I, if you guys don't know, I am a hearing care professional, and today I helped a woman um, through our foundation uh, get essentially free hearing aids, $5,000 hearing aids, who can't afford them. And she had been using basically a very, it wasn't doing the job. And as soon as we placed them in her ears, she just, I, I thought it was a little too loud, but she just started crying. She'd been wearing hearing aids since she's four years old. She had been hearing, you know, hearing issues since she was four years old, and she hadn't been able to hear properly in years. Um, so if you want, <laughs> I would love for somebody to try and explain to her after we gave her her hearing aids that your, you know, your day was ruined because you couldn't get a particular boat in a video game. But alas, we move on. And again, I, I don't like adding these events because we, we come to, you know, my YouTube channel and video games to escape reality, right? This is fiction, this is fake. Um, I trained somebody today and I was actually out of town um, traveling for work, helping at a different office today. And one of my trainees, I was late um, and he said, I came and I said, hey, you know, so I'm sorry. He said, don't worry about it. My wife's son, um, you know, they got remarried, not his son, but he died yesterday. And it just kind of like, I was having kind of like one of those days because I was traveling for work. I hadn't got a video out. People are commenting like, oh, you suck, you know, like, oh, my friend couldn't get the shell. Like, oh, this, you're ridiculous. <laughs> Do you think, <laughs> I, I'm laughing because I'm trying to, perspective drives your reality. Do you think for a moment, any like if that happened, in your life, right? That anyone would give a shit about this video game, my YouTube video, or any anyone else's thoughts or feelings. So yes, it is, I, I'm not saying you shouldn't have thoughts or feelings about a particular topic, especially something you're passionate about, but just remember that your perspective drives your reality. So try to zoom out, try to hold an open view. I've tried to do that a, a lot more recently. I'm not perfect at it, I never will be. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts on the topic, so again, I, I think the for the extreme whales and veteran players who have not committed a lot to resources, it was a great addition to the game. I think Wargaming, if you're truly listening, you could allow Elite XP to at least take up 50% of the crafting station. Right, Elite XP doesn't need to, to do the whole thing, but I think that 50% would be an excellent addition for true veteran players and for people who have been playing a lot and put in a lot to this game. Those are my final thoughts on the topic. If, you know, I, I, I don't mind open discussion, but I'm just not gonna have people just type in obnoxious stuff in the comments. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna ignore them. They're just gonna be, they, they won't exist. So, um, but moving on to the informative part of this video, this, I can already tell the, the viewer retention rate is not gonna be great for this one. The Wind Rose bonuses, okay? are now back and guys, they are 
they are very good. You get some super crates for the legendary tier. Let's look at the tier eights. You get, I yeah, so two more promotion orders. So if you're looking to, if you're on the edge, right, and you want the shill, get those promotion orders at tier eight there. Uh, you also get some boosters uh, for tier seven. Make sure, you know, you're playing all of your ships or whatever you could particular want, you know, your wants or needs for these Wind Rose bonuses. On top of that, the Drachmas, right? Do not forget about the Drachmas for this update. Um, there is a great, essentially free, uh, a few free Tier 7s available to you if you do, you get the Admiralty backing, and you do... Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Look at this, look at this fool spamming me. Bro, get a life. He spammed me last, no, I'm just kidding, I love Alphonse. Um, if you do the calendar event as well, and I will link that in the description of this video. But again, you, you will, if you want the Borodino, you will have to wail some more. Again, Wargaming creates that itch, and then they put it just behind a little bit of a paywall. It's how every video game does it. I am really resisting playing College Ultimate Team. They just dropped Brian Robinson. As soon as they drop Archie Griffin, I will be putting in <laughs> way too much money into that game. But anyway, um, if you are looking for more or less free Tier 7 premiums, a very good one at that. The Georgia is an excellent ship. The Siegfried as well, the Belfast 43. I know Durka, I believe, has done some good videos on these. Um, so get the full details again from him. But if you do the calendar event and you get the Admiralty backing, that will get you just enough. And you complete the missions, of course. You will get just enough there to get what is essentially a $10 Tier 7 premium on top of the Velos, which I'm sure is going to be buffed. Wargaming, again, we, we got to look at the ships we're doing for campaigns. I think the Borodino would have been a much better pick. But alas, I am blabbering on here. That is some free-ish content for you guys. You will have to put a little bit of money into the game. As I have said a thousand times before, none of these ships are even worth ten dollars they're they're fake right they're fake pixel boats okay um unless you have you know and unless this is your passion your hobby i really enjoy this game i've put money into it i still get of course a lot of the stuff in terms of rental and commanders and things like that and i still put money into the game so if you enjoy the game um don't also don't listen to what anybody else has to say even my opinion if you don't like it you don't have to watch me right that's that's the beauty about living in a mostly free country right now <laughs> um or you know wherever wherever you're viewing this from um you have the ability to not watch me so unless i'm being put on in some north korean classrooms in that case uh hello in korean but uh, <laughs> thank you for your view <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe guys that's the video i just had to get that off my chest um if you don't agree with me, that's fine. I know that not everyone is going to. Uh, I just, again, I, I I might have missed the mark a little bit uh, on, on my shill video, but I thought it was understood. I guess I'm just so jaded to Wargaming's ways that I just knew it was going to be how it was. Um, but anyway, that's the video. I love you guys. Make sure you get your Windrose bonuses. Uh, the big crates there for the legendary. I think you can, can you do them in AI? I'm pretty sure you can do them in AI. So run into AI, rush in, kill th three or four AI, get your bonuses. That is a lot of a lot of bonuses. It's, it stops at, oh, is it, is it tier five? Oh, we even get some common crates at tier five. So I lied. Bad CC, bad shill. Oh, a tier, is it every tier? Well, tier four here is camos, let's look. Yeah, so it stops at tier four there. I guess I probably could have looked somewhere, but tier four all the way up to, so how many ships is this for me? Yeah, 410 of 487 ships. So that is a lot of bonuses. But again, the, the most urgent or important ones, at least for me anyway, would be the tier eight, the legendary tier, and then of course the tier seven four. I actually do need a lot of those boosters. <laughs> I am running out. Um, but yeah, that's the video guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic day again. Don't let perspective drive your reality. If you wake up and you tell yourself you're going to have a bad day, you probably are. So I hope you guys, whenever you're watching this, I hope you end up having a great day. Make sure to like and subscribe. You know, all that YouTuber bullshit. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.